Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do the long-awaited tulip block. So you guys, this might be the literally most intricate block I've ever made. I did do a few here. I started a few here because, well, it's what I do. But, so these first three steps we're going to do twice, but I already did it on one. But... I'm going to talk you through it. So, you have your tulips right here. Your three colors of tulip, or your two colors of tulips. You have three strips. You're going to line them up like this. The middle one is going to have two here. So, we're still going to need to do that one. And then your out two is going to be here. So, we're going to turn these over. We're going to turn them over and draw a line on each one of them from corner to corner. And it doesn't matter. They're all the same. What matters is where we lay them. So we're going to draw all our lines. I know I'm down in the corner of my screen there. Sorry about that. Now, like I said, I already did the first one uh, just to make sure it was going to come out right, which, you know, that's what I do. And this one. All right, so first step is we do our outer ones. I'm gonna, you're gonna lay it on this side. You want the tulip to, wait a minute, what am I doing? I did it wrong. You guys, it's gonna go like this. Your tulip goes in. So this one is still gonna go here, but we'll get to that step. This one's gonna go here, with the arrow pointing, uh, to the middle, or the line pointing to the middle of the end of inside of the block. Boy, I am tongue tied today. So sorry about that. All right, we're gonna pin that. This one's gonna go both ways, so we're just gonna do one first, and this one is going to go the opposite way. So it's gonna go on the inside of your tulip block. So it really doesn't matter. You don't have to lay it out like this. Just make sure at least one of them is going the opposite way. One's going to get both, and then the other ones are going to get one of each. So, no. <laughs> That's the same thing. One's going to get both, and the other ones are each going to get one opposite. So now we're going to head on over to the sewing machine and sew all three of these up. And I am so sorry I'm talking in circles. Okay, so... We're going to get these done. We're going to line it up there. This one you're going to sew on the line. My hand is going to be a little bit in the way there. I do apologize. But I need to use it to sew. Ah, oh, That's alright. We're just going to start over. Cutting that part off anyway. We're cutting that part off anyway. If it wasn't fine, I would literally just pull out the stitches and redo it. There's nothing wrong with that fabric. These are a little hard to hold there on this side. All right. So now, like always, I'm going to take one of my border pieces and one of the little corner squares, corner stones, whatever you want to call it, and I'm going to sew it together to free up my sewing machine my pieces I need from my sewing machine. I'm going to cut them off. Head back over to the ironing mat, pressing mat. Cut this one off. That's for something else. Cut these apart. Now, I would have my diagram laid out is how I would normally do it, but I don't. So this one is done for now. We're going to take our scissors and you could also use the rotary cutter. That's the one that I had messed up on. So I just made sure I left that thread in there. If it bothers you, cut it off and redo it. Y'all know me. I don't let much get to me. It'll be just fine. We're going to cut the corners off of all of those. We are going to press them open. Now, 
Now we're going to do the middle piece there. We're going to just, same thing we did, we're going to line it up on the corner. I'm going to pin it. And we're going to sew down that line. Same thing here. I had to make sure this one cooled off a little before I could do it. Line it up right there. Pin it. And we're going to sew that up. Now, I also like to do everything at the same time, really, or as much as I can. So we're going to take, I'm just going to lay some of the, well, I'll just lay them there. We're going to take four of these. No, we're just, yeah, four of them, that's right. And we're gonna draw our line. We're actually gonna draw a line on all of them, but for the tulip part, we're only doing four. From corner to corner. And corner to corner on all of them. And this is the line we're gonna sew on. The one we're drawing is where we're gonna sew. Actually, we're going to go ahead and do up all our pieces to sew. That way we can stay over there and get them all done. Also, I think it's harder for y'all to hear me when I'm sewing, so I probably won't talk through that. So for the tulips, we're going to take the pieces and we're going to put them opposite. So if you have this one up here, we're going to do this one opposite down here. I'm going to pin that. I'm going to do this one too, opposite. And then these two are going to go this way because again, you want your line you drew to be parallel with that one. So it's going to be on the opposite corner. Hmm, this purple fabric's a little bit thick, which is odd because it's almost the same fabric as the yellow. Okay, so now we're going to take, I already used one, so we're going to take three more of these, and those are our cornerstones. We don't need those. We do need all these. Mine are, I cut them in piles, so they are facing each other, so let's flip them all around. Now we're going to draw a line from corner to corner on all of them. Also, in the cutting video on the these strips, the two inch or one and a half inch strips, follow the instructions that are written. I did say it wrong in the video. All right. I do like this pin, this friction pin for sewing. Now, I wouldn't use it on garments or anything because I don't want it to reappear on the side of a shirt as I'm wearing it, you know. But it works good for here. So now we're going to take our leaves. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to take our leaves and lay them out. And these are going to go... Now... The best way I can explain it is to have it laid out and show you. Let's do it up here on this so you can see it better. So we're going to lay them out. This is how they'll lay in the block. So you're going to lay them like this. It's going to be in the corner over here. These aren't going to cover the whole strip. It's going to be like this and then like this. Almost laid that down wrong. <laughs> and then you're just going to do it again. So just like that. And I'm just going to pause a minute because I do want to consult my uh, pattern and make sure I've laid that out right. That's what I need to do. So now I'm just going to pin those because I don't want them to move on me. 
So you have to do two different stitches through them, obviously two different lines. And now we're just going to go sew up all of this at once. And once our tulips are done, honestly, this block goes together pretty fast. The tulip part is intricate though. I don't, I don't know that I thought it through about teaching it. So I apologize if I'm confusing you. Just do what I do. All right. I also, I thought about switching my leaves. Like these are the leaves on one and these are the leaves on the other. I thought about switching them and making it one of each like this, but I decided against it. Anyways, we're going to take all this up. We're going to sew down all our lines and I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to probably not talk because it's hard to hear me. So we'll see how it goes. I am going to do the, the leaves first because I have to run them through twice. So we're going to start there. Now we'll swing back around here and cut our leaves off and run them through the other side. I know you can't see me, but that is all I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm actually just going to cut the tulip part off. I'm going to leave the other over there so I don't have to use another thing to run it through. Because we're going to run our tulips through to sew them up. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take these. And again, you could use a rotary cutter, but I'm just going to cut about a quarter inch down. These bigger ones are going to go in my scrap quilt. The little ones are going to go in my pillow stuffing. Oh, that one, I'll run that through again. I'm 
I'm going to run this one through again. My line is not very good. And I guess then I might have to... All right, I realize I didn't take you with me, but it's all right. You've seen me, so a straight line, <laughs> I think. I don't know. So we're going to iron these open. And there's our middle piece. My other tulip is busy. Oh, I thought I missed a piece. This will go over here. Okay, so this is how our tulip is going to lay out. Right there like that. So I'm going to fold this over. I iron these the same way, and I, whatever. It'll be fine. It'll be a little bulky, but I actually don't mind the bulk. Because it gets cold here, so... I'm going to do that, and I'm going to pin this one. I have the other one on the sewing machine, but it's really the same thing, so I'm just going to fold it over and pin it. I could redo the one if I wanted to, and it would lay flat. So I'll do that one, this one. I'll do it on the other one, too. We'll just keep them flat. But it still came out the same, so... We're going to head over and sew those together, and then we'll come do the rest. Just line up my top there because it was not. And then we'll do the yellow tulip. Now I need to cut them all off, so I'm going to grab another cornerstone and border piece. And just sew them together so I can get everything off of there. Alright. Let's cut them apart. Lay these down here to the side for a minute. We're going to finish the tulip part. This one needs trimmed. I'm not going to worry about tearing out the other stitches on that because it won't affect it. See, I did them opposite there. Let's iron it open. Does not matter which side. Well, yes, actually it does. I'm ironing it to the middle. No, I didn't. I ironed one to the middle and one not. It doesn't matter. So, now we did them separate. So when you're doing this, you just have to make sure that your two peaks are in the middle at the top there. And that... Hold on, I'm trying to re-iron re this. And that you... Your other side is touching, matching the... The middle there so like this so you don't you wouldn't want it to be like that because that looks dumb well not necessarily dumb just not a tulip so we're going to fold this over and pin it lay it to the side same thing here you want to make sure it's the same i'm going to redo that All right. And there. All right. Now we're just, we sew those up and we're done. Now we're going to lay out our, our leaves. So we're going to start by cutting off the, the excess from both sides. I 
Again, you could use a rotary cutter if you want to. I feel like it's a little extra work when I could just, oh, that's a little too big. I could just snip it down on my own with no issue. Then we're going to iron them open. I'm going to iron these to this white side for no real reason other than it's easiest. Alright. Alright, now we're just going to lay them out and put the stem with them. So, if you remember, we put these on the bottom on the outside. So, that's how we're going to lay them out again, just like that. And then we're going to take our stem. Ah, oh, our stem's too long. You know why? Because I didn't tell you at all. We're going to, our little uh, two by, one and a half by three rectangles, that's what we're going to do. We're going to add those to the bottom right here and here and here and here so we're just gonna I'm not even gonna pin them I'm just gonna take them over one by one and sew them uh, at, right after I sew up the tulip so let's go over to the sewing machine I'm gonna sew up the tulips Alright, I'm going to grab my last one. I'm going to use the, so the cornerstone too. And if I can get a hold of this little square, and I'm going to sew that up. Then I'll cut these off and we'll head over and iron them all open. Scissors for now. Let's okay. So let's start here and iron our tulips open. And there they are. Aren't they beautiful? I love these colors. Now I'm just going to iron these down here to this, to the white side there, the bottom. No real reason other than it'll lay flattest that way. But again, I don't mind a little bulk, so if it doesn't, you know, whatever. Now, we'll lay them back out. Again, you want your white piece to the front, you want your leaves to go up. This is upside down, so you want them to be like this. So now we're just going to... And I'm not even, well, I'll pin it, but I'm going to do them one at a time. I'm going to do this side, and I'm going to run it through. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here, and then I'm just going to cut it off and switch it over just as I'm at the sewing machine. So it will be repetitive over there. Like, we're not coming back to pin the other side. You'll just see me do it over there. So let's head on over. The next one.
we're just going to grab the other one real quick. I am ironing it open to the, the stem part, but it was real quick. You didn't miss anything. Do the other one. And run it down through. I'm going to grab this because I have no more things to sew together on this block yet. I'm gonna head back over. And iron these to the stem, just like I did the other side. A little off there. Oh well. Okay, so now we're going to match up our, our tulips to our stems, just like that. So we're just going to fold this down. There's not really any seams to match up. You're just going to match up your beginning and end. Mine is a little off, but that's okay. It'll come out in the end, I promise. I just maybe cut wrong or measured wrong. Or This one is perfect. So it'll be fun. Well, almost perfect. I'm just gonna pin these. We'll head on over and iron or iron them, sew them, and I'll be right back. this off and so the other side now let's head back over this one you're going to iron one to the tulip and one to the stem. And it does not matter which one goes where. Yeah, this is definitely, oh, that's a little crooked, but really, it'll be all right. I promise. You're gonna line up your seam right there. And then the top and that should line up now here's another thing that you if you want to pay attention I guess I didn't your your seam right there if you want to make them go opposite ways that wouldn't hurt and down here at the stem it does it it does it again but I didn't so oh well I'm gonna pause the video for a minute I have to uh, draw some lines on more of these half square triangles and I will be right back All right, so I did that, and I actually went ahead and sewn, sewed it up because, well, again, it's what I do. So there is it so far. Very pretty. Love it. So now we're going to take our strips, the shorter, the two shorter strips. Well, I don't know why I have three, but the two shorter strips, and we are going to sew it to both the bottom. Wait a minute. Are these my shorter strips? Yeah, we're going to save that one. Both the bottom and the top. And they're, mine are a little big because I just cut from fabric that was left because, well, you know me. It's what I do. So we're going to pin this to both the bottom 
and the top. And this is going to be kind of how we do our border, uh, except for we're doing top and bottom and then sides. And on our border, we go all the way around. So now I'm going to start over here. I'm going to flip it up because I like to work from the top. I like to pin towards me. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but that's what I like to do. So from here on out, it's it's pretty easy. It's basically what we've done before. Those tulips are pretty intricate, like I said. I'm not sure it was the best choice to teach, but I hope I did an okay job. We're gonna go over to the sewing machine and sew these both up. that off and do the other side. and head back over to the pressing mat. Take the pins out of these. Now, I am also going to cut this off and this side too. These will go in for my scrap quilt. My, whatever you want to call that. My chrome quilt. We're just going to iron this open to the, the straight side, the flat piece, the no side with no seams. Seamless. That's what I'm trying to say. So now, again, we're just going to do the same thing with our longer strips. I'll fold this up a bit. I'm just going to lay it down even at the top here. This one goes over a little, not a big deal. You can trim it if you want or just leave it, you know, whatever. This one I'm going to trim off now. Flip it around and do the same thing on this side. All right. one down here. We're going to head one over and sew them up. Take those pins out before I get stabbed. finish that or trim that one off hmm. so I finished the Harry Potter quilt I cannot wait to show my son he's in school right now so I gotta wait till he gets home but I'm super excited now the other side Put 
Sekarang di Cina. Now we'll trim it off and head back over to the pressing mat. Oh, wrong button. This hot open first. I love this fabric. I had when I was a child, which was let's just say a few years ago, I had a set of sheets on my bed that were like this, but they had pink flowers on them. And actually, I still have them around here somewhere, probably, but I just loved them. And this fabric reminded me of it, and I was like, oh, I gotta get it. Okay, so moving right along, now we're going to do our, well first we're going to iron these open to the long side, the ones that we did so, which I believe was three of them. Yep, there is the third one. But we're not going to use that, those. Right now we're going to use this one that I didn't sew to anything. And we're going to pin it, oh. Oh yeah, I cut these the length of the fabric, or the width of the fat quarter. That's why they're so long. But you don't need all that, obviously. And we're going to pin it down here at the bottom, the back, the bottom, the edge. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to go ahead and cut that. These I will use. Believe me, I love that fabric. It's beautiful. So we're going to head back over. In fact, if y'all find any of that fabric, let me know where. I mean, I, my Joann's is out of it. But I tried to get it by the yard, but I couldn't find it. Back over here, I'm going to iron it open. I love it. Oh my gosh, is it not the be most beautiful thing? Like, it just fits spring. Although I didn't notice that, but it'll be alright. So now we're just going to go around it. And pin the cornerstone there. Corner block, corner piece, whatever you want to call it. And this is the part we do every time. We are in the home stretch. I really like this block and the backing fabric is beautiful and I just love every bit of it. I'm going to go back over and sew it. Ouch. My pin got me. done sewing these for this other project. All right, I'm going to head back over if I can get this mouse to work. Maybe I'm talking quieter too. I'm not sure about the sound. It might be me. But I ordered, what did I order? I ordered, had, uh, what did I order? A microphone. That's what I ordered. So hopefully that'll help. We'll see. All right. Now, again, the next piece. Just 
pin it into place. I'm a little behind on quilting. I have not quilted my um, April block yet. But I'm going to get there. I love seeing all the pictures of yours. They're beautiful. This one loose and sew up the other side. Only two more of these blocks to go, and then I have to trim them all into half square triangles. So, wish me luck. All right, it is cut apart. Let's cut it off here. I'll tell you what, when I sewed on this first piece, I noticed this from the fabric. There's a little hole there, so I'll just make sure to quilt that when I get to that piece, and hopefully it works. So now I'm going to I'm gonna measure this to right there, and then I'm going to cut a quarter inch. I could do the measurement on the, on the ruler and... And then just measure or yeah use the rotary cutter and measure it but also I don't want to I like to keep my uh I'm just gonna sew this up real quick I'm not even taking you with me I like to keep my stuff as easy as possible because I'm all about simple What have I done? There we go. I must have cut my thread somewhere in there. I don't know. Oh, I need this piece, not that one. So, we're going to iron this open then. And if I've done all my stuff correctly, it will nest right in there perfectly. So, let's... Start at the beginning. I think this really might be my favorite block so far. And it really might be because I love tulips or I love <laughs> this lattice fabric. But I don't know. But this really is my favorite so far. Let's uh, redo that. All right, we're gonna head over and sew it up. Maybe. There we go. I hadn't posted any videos over the past weekend. I took the time when I wasn't working to finish that Harry Potter quilt. Because my youngest, he's very excited to get it. Every time I'd tell him, it's almost done, or I'm getting there, he'd get so excited and he'd say, well, at least I'm getting it. And I'm like, yep, we'll get it to you as soon as possible, buddy. All right, so here we are, and it looks like I did my measuring 
correctly. Or mostly correctly. I don't know. Whatever. It lined up. So there's that. All right. There it is. The tulips for the May quilt block. Ugh. Threads loose. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope it wasn't too confusing on that. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, it was pretty, not necessarily intricate, just a lot of steps, I guess. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you make it and love it. I can't wait to see yours and I will see you in the next video.